Well, we're still going to enjoy some warm days for a while, but we do have some changes coming up. Now, the wave pattern around the northern hemisphere is a sine pattern. It's a sinusoidal pattern, kind of like that. We're under the ridge. There's a trough out here in the Pacific. There's another ridge back here. This ridge is going to put pressure on that trough. And then the bottom of that trough is a low. That'll sink south and kick out to the northeast. When it does, it'll enhance the flow of moisture. We already have a low level flow. But when that low comes up across, coming down behind it will be the cool air. That'll be our next cold front. Looks like it'll be in Tuesday night. And the time of the night will kind of dictate whether or not we get much in the way of showers. There will be, I think, a little overrun rain on it. But right now, looking at satellite radar, you can see the moisture coming in from the southwest. That's mid and high level. The little wind flow pattern coming in from the Gulf, that's our lower level flow, that's the low level moisture. We have a hard time getting rid of that low level moisture if we have too much of that mid and high level cloud on top blocking the sun during the daytime. That's why we were so slow breaking the cloud cover today. Past six hours, you can see we did get some breaks. We're still moving some mid and high level in from the southwest and we'll also enhance that southerly flow tonight and get that low level moisture back. Winds have settled down some. They've been coming in from the south. They were anywhere from 10 to 15 today. We had some wind gusts out 25. And over the future track, well, the life of it, we bring those temperatures gradually down through the 70s. And tomorrow morning, we'll be in the 60s. And then we're going to warm back into the 80s. And it looks like another couple of warm days for us. So basically, overnight tonight, we're going to bottom out right around the 69 degree number with those low clouds trapping some heat. Tomorrow, we'll be up middle 80s, warm and windy once again. Seven day, we'll bring that front in on uh, Tuesday. It looks like it'll head towards us. We'll start to go for some showers with the front during the nighttime passage, overrun it during the day, shut it off on Wednesday night go back to some more open skies and a little cooler numbers as we finish the week. We may have a more complicated system next weekend and the end of next weekend. Set those clocks back one hour tonight. Curtis, I'm talking to you. Set that clock back tonight. Chris? <laughs> A good reminder indeed, Bill. All right. Thanks so much.